You are missing out on easy money if you are not using these 12 insane Kajabi hacks. Not just ones that I swear by, but ones that are backed by Kajabi's client data. Hack number seven alone could triple your conversions. So are you ready? Let's dive in. What's up, it's Danny. Kajabi has allowed me to take my community and build an over six figure business. If you haven't started using it yet, I have an extended 30 day trial that comes with immediate access to my zero to 10K course roadmap that you're definitely gonna wanna check out. The first Kajabi hack is adding gum to your checkout counter. Do you know that moment when you're checking out in a grocery store and you see a stick of gum and you're like, eh, why not? And you throw it on the conveyor belt and boom, the store just added to their overall sale. Well, that is what an order bump can do for you. Order bumps add an average of $35 per sale, according to Kajabi. That's crazy. We all need to be using order bumps and they're so easy to set up. An order bump is a simple, just add on option that is within your checkout page. Someone will just click it. Yes, I want to add on this template or maybe a private training or a swipe file. These are great impulse buys that go along with whatever you are offering or in the same kind of niche. The most high converting order bumps range from about $17 to $37. It's gotta be low enough for a good impulse buy, but high enough to add meaningful revenue. If you want a full tutorial on how to add an order bump, I have linked one down below in the description. The second Kajabi hack adds an average of $60 more per customer, and that is an upsell. If an order bump is like gum at a checkout, then an upsell is like your waiter asking you if you want dessert after you've finished your entree. You weren't necessarily thinking about it, but now that you see it, you're like, mm, maybe I am in the mood. It sounds like a deal. Data shows that upsells convert at around 10 or 30%, depending on the offer and the timing of it. That means one to three out of every 10 buyers is going to say yes to more from you. That's a big score for us. Let's say you're selling a $200 product and just 20% of your buyers do an upsell for $97 after they buy that $200 product. That's an extra $1,940 for every 100 customers without writing extra ads or a new email. Unlike order bumps, upsells show up after someone has checked out. So this is not an impulse buy. This is something higher value and usually higher ticket. Some good ideas for upsells could be like a mini course, VIP upgrades, or one-on-one -on -one coaching. For me, I have found that about 20 to 25% of the time, my core students will upsell to a one-on-one -on -one call with me. So it's a great boost for my core sales and also a great way for me to meet one-on-one -on -one with my clients. It's a win-win. I have linked a tutorial for an upsell in the description down below. Kajabi hack number three is to bundle your course with a community. Our course is dead? No, but without any community for a high ticket course, you might be looking at some problems this year. People want community now more than ever. That's why if you've watched my top seven course platforms of the year video, where you hear me kind of like rag on school, I just, I don't get it. I don't think it's that great of a software, but school has gained so much popularity because it's all about community. It's bringing people together. People want connection. Kajabi recently totally revamped their community offer. It's amazing and I made a whole tutorial on it. Highly recommend that you check that out and I show how I have linked my course inside of my community. So people just have to log into the community and then boom, they can also access all of their curriculum there as well. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Kajabi hack number four is maybe a little bit silly, but honestly, it was one I'm obsessed with. And I think everyone should do this. I think it makes your community so much better. So if you have a community, keep listening. Here it is, add gifts to your community challenges and add custom reactions. What do I mean by this? If I go to my community right now, you can see that my challenges have gifts. I learned how to do this from another Kajabi user and I thought like, this is just so fun. It makes your community that much more exciting. All you have to do is go to Giphy, download some funny gifts you like, and then you just upload it as your challenge photo. I would click here, I would hit edit, and then you can see I can just change and upload the photo right in this challenge section. Now you'll also see here, I can add custom reactions. So for example, I can hold down here and you'll see my reactions say, awesome for the thumbs up, love, LOL, wow, tear, and upset. If you go into your course settings, 
hit customization and scroll down, you can see you can change the reaction terminology. And I just think this is so cute. Like I say tear way more than I would say sad. And I think that's more fun in me. So change these to phrases that you actually use and it makes your community feel just so much more authentically you. It puts your spin on it, it feels different and it makes people feel more connected to one another, even little things like this. I do really think little touches like this can make such a big difference. So yeah, maybe number four is really goofy, but I think it's my favorite one of this whole video. Also, nobody does this. So if you really wanna make my day, help a girl out and leave an emoji below and what you would name it. Pat on the back for whoever just did that. Real MVP. Kajabi hack number five is one of the most underrated tools for boosting your sales. I feel like nobody talks about, and that is A-B testing your email headers and titles. Did you know that for most course creators, 60 to 80% of their sales are going to come from their email launch campaigns, right from that email list. So emails are super important to how much money your course is going to make. And here's the thing, you won't sell well if nobody is opening your emails. Your subject line is the gatekeeper to getting people in the doors of your program. So what does that mean? That means you need to really think about what your email header is going to be. It can't just be like, my course is open, come join now. It needs to be juicier than that. And you can test what works with A-B email testing. Here you can see an example of an A-B test I did on an email that I sent recently. Subject A was, I bought this on impulse while at Costco. And subject B was, this tiny camera will change the way you video. Very different subject lines, right? Which do you think did better? Subject A had an almost 40% open rate. And subject B had about a 34 and a half open rate. Subject A even had a slightly higher click rate of people actually clicking into the next page I wanted to take them to. Because of this, it boosted my open rate to 38%. I would highly, highly recommend that you check this out. Pro tip, write out your whole email and then click AB test, or you'll have to copy and paste over everything from your first email. And I recommend to only really test one thing at a time. And I really think often it's that subject line that's the most important because the biggest thing is really getting people to open and see what it is that you're offering. Now, if you're like, oh my gosh, email is so important, but I don't even have an email list yet, make sure you check out this tutorial I have it's gonna be so helpful in setting up and scaling an email list. Kajabi hack number six can help you recover 10 to 15% of lost visitors on your sales pages, and that's exit pop-ups. Exit pop-ups are one of the most underlooked ways to boost your conversions. And so you can set up an exit pop-up either for when somebody is about to leave your page, or you can time it for a certain amount of seconds that someone is on your page, and then boom, it'll show up for them. Here is how I would recommend that you use exit pop-ups. First, on your homepage, I would recommend you have a pop-up of whatever your free email opt-in is. We just talked about the importance of email in our last tip, but having a pop-up of something free that you know your audience wants is a great way to build your list, especially if people don't know what your opt-in is. Next, I highly recommend that you put exit pop-ups on your sales pages, especially if you are having limited time discounts or maybe doors are closing. Having a pop-up that lets people know can really boost conversions. Exit pop-ups are extremely easy to set up in any of your landing pages. I'll link a full tutorial for this down below. Kajabi hack number seven is using the power of testimonials strategically. You probably heard that testimonials build trust, but where you place them can actually double and even triple your sales conversions. According to Big Commerce, testimonials can increase conversions by 34%. And 72% of people say they trust a brand more when they can see testimonials. Unfortunately, most people use testimonials wrong. They just throw them at the bottom of their page and they're like, here's some nice quotes that people said about my course. But thanks to Kajabi, you can embed your testimonials throughout your sales pages and this is definitely something you want to do. I recommend you place a few testimonials right after your pricing. This can ease last minute hesitation. Then drop one under your offer stack again to really reinforce transformation that your course is going to bring. You can also add a quote or a screenshot near any call to actions for social proof right when people are about to click. And social proof is so huge. And so how do you get it? Well, pro hack for you here, especially if you have a community, make sure you set up a wins section where people can screenshot and share their wins. Well, boom, you can take those and add those directly into your sales pages for future students to see. These convert so well. People wanna see that you're actually giving other people the results that they want. 
Also, at the end of your program, when momentum is high, I recommend that you offer some sort of a big incentive to get people to leave you reviews. Specifically too, if you can, video reviews. So for me, for my course, I used to actually offer a bonus hour call with me. If within 48 hours of them finishing the course, they sent me a video testimonial. Now, I don't have time to do that anymore, but that's why if you go onto my MCA page, you will see so many amazing video reviews because I know it's a lot for most people to get on camera, so you have gotta offer something juicy to get great reviews and in a timely manner. Also, you need to make sure that you make it easy for people to give you a testimonial by giving them a template of saying, okay, where were you before the program? How do you feel now? Why would you recommend it? Kajabi hack number eight is crazy easy and can help you increase your checkout completion rate by 30%, and that's enabling Apple and Google Pay. I was recently talking to someone who works at Kajabi and she was like, please tell me you have Apple and Google Pay on because it makes such a huge difference in getting more conversions and completed checkout cards. And I totally believe this because recently I was trying to check out at Target and for some reason it wouldn't let me use Apple Pay and I was like, all right, well, I guess it's not gonna happen because I cannot be bothered to go find my credit card and check out. And so they lost a sale from me. Really quick, go into your settings and make sure you've enabled these super easy and ensures that you're not losing out on people that are lazy like me. Kajabi hack number nine is for my data-driven entrepreneurs. You know who you are and that is A-B testing your landing pages. Here's the thing, if you're not testing, you're just guessing that something is working, right? And what does guessing cost? It costs us money. Kajabi is insane and they now let you A-B test literally landing pages. So you can test things like headlines, hero images or videos, buttons, call to actions, even an opt-in form length. And you can decide like what is a metric that you're trying to test. So maybe you're just wanting to test clicks or opt-ins or conversions or total revenue. Kajabi will do all the hard lifting and will randomly split your audiences into the two groups to be able to test and see which converts better. Pro tips here, I recommend to only test one thing at a time so you actually know what's working and what isn't. If you change all the things, then how will you know what it is that got the increase in clicks? Two, you want to make sure you run the test for a substantial enough time where you can actually get good data results. So ideally like at least 30 days. And then make sure you just do this with like your most important pages. You don't wanna be A-B testing everything. That would be, I think in my mind, totally overwhelming. So maybe pick your most important landing pages and start there. This is seriously one of the easiest ways to see real improvements without changing your offer or your ad spend. So don't sit on this one. Kajabi hack number 10 is probably one of my biggest time savers, or maybe it's not even, but it just feels like it. And that's being able to record and then automatically upload trainings and recordings into your Kajabi sessions. I now try and do all my calls in Kajabi. I have said goodbye to Zoom where you have to wait for your recordings forever to save and you have to upload them. Mm -mm. If you take your calls in Kajabi, it will automatically upload them when the call's over and even notify your students that the recording and replay is there. Amazing. If you get it, you get it if you've been using Zoom. And if you're like, how do I do this? Make sure you check out my coaching tutorial. Very helpful. Kajabi hack number 11 is one that I'm super stoked about because I'm changing all of my sales pages to have this and that is a pop-up checkout. This is an amazing way to boost conversions and sales and keep people on your sales page. So whereas before when I would have my sales page for MCA, I would have my two pricing options, the payment plan and the paid in full. By the way, 90% of Kajabi heroes earning over $100,000 use more than one pricing model. So I highly recommend that you also have some sort of like a one-time payment or payment plan option. But anyway, I used to have these two things and then people would click into them and it would take them to another page, which would be an offer page. But now with pop-up checkout, it just boom, it opens up right on that same sales page and it looks like this. I think it looks just so much better. Also pro tip, I recommend not requiring your buyers to log in in order to check out. This can increase conversions by 6%. And with the pop-up checkouts, it doesn't require any sort of login. So if you want to make your checkout process feel smoother, I highly recommend that you do these pop-up checkouts. All you have to do is when you go into your button on your sales page, just click pop-up checkout and then pick the offer and then boom, it will automatically add. Ugh. I love Kajabi. All right, Kajabi hack number 12 is to turn your happy customers 
into your best marketers through affiliate links. 88% of creators say that growing their audience is their biggest challenge. And if that's how you're feeling, then know one of the smartest ways to better sell your course is to have your past students help you sell it. So many of my MCA clients have been referred from other Happy Past students. And Kajabi makes it extremely easy to set up an affiliate program. You can set it up and say, okay, I wanna give my affiliates 20 or 30% commission of this specific course. Then you can simply just give your past students a login link where they can then go and just create their own affiliate account. They will be able to create custom links and you will be able to track it both on your end and they'll track it on their end as well. If you currently don't have an affiliate program, I would highly encourage you to start one today. And I share my affiliate program literally the moment somebody signs up for my course, I say, hey, here are the first three things you need to do. And one of the first three things is sign up to be an affiliate and share this program with a friend you think that would love to go through it as well. And boom, you can make a commission on that. Don't sleep on building an affiliate program. Now that you have the 12 packs, please go and watch this video on email marketing, okay? It's gonna be so helpful for you. I know I talked about a lot of videos, but the email marketing one is so vital if you haven't done that yet. Definitely would recommend. If this video is helpful for you, it's so helpful for me. If you give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next video. Bye.